Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a much requested video. It's my organization video and I do have another one of these posted and some things will have stayed the same and some things will have changed. Um, I will link my old organization video down below if you're interested in seeing how it's changed. But I am going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with my two accordion files. These are my most used stickers. Um, and if you ever see something off to the side in a plan with me, it's probably one of these. So this accordion file right here is basically my monthly stickers. So when you open it up, you can see I have stickers on the tabs here and I've written different um, shops and then weeks one through five and then a new section which now isn't as much new stickers I, I use it to keep my current month's VGR subscription just so I remember to use things that are seasonal um, or holiday themed and in the front I keep a couple of um, planner gems items I have this because it matches um, it matched December and January colors but um, because she's closed, because she's on maternity leave, I don't have any monthly colored icons for January, but I do have them for, I think, starting in April. So my first tab here is my monthly colored headers. So I have my Vintage Gypsy Road and my Scribble Prince Co. I used up all my Planner Kate ones for my fitness planner because I went ahead and did um, my last two weeks all at once in my fitness planner. Then I keep my Planner Kate monthly colored items. Um, my Scribble Prints Co. monthly colored items and my Vintage Gypsy Road monthly colored items. Then I keep my monthly colored Planner Kate pre-cut washi and then I keep um, other non-month specific items in here and I think this was from November but I pulled it out to use for something else and I just stuck it back in there instead of grabbing my um, stuff for out of season months. Then I'll put leftover stickers that I used for different weeks. That way if I want to add more decoration or I want to grab a matching icon later on throughout the week. So I have like what I use for each week. And not every month has five weeks, but I have five just in case. And then like I said, my VGR current month subscription is in the back. Next is my most frequently used sticker accordion file. And up here in front I have all of the monthly colored icons for uh, planner gems I think I got just the cleaning icons in every single month that was available I did that um, on Black Friday next I have an appointment section which doesn't have very much in it but it has doctor labels from planner Kate the times from scribble Prince Co and church next I have technology stuff so this is like filming, editing kind of stuff, Instagram, cameras, computers, mostly stuff that has to do with my YouTube channel. And then next I have errands. So I have like cars and gas, groceries, um, Target, library books do, dry cleaning. Then next I have home tasks. So these are going to be all of my um, cleaning chores like stuff I need to do at home. I have stuff from Planner Gems and Planner Kate. I love these makeup brush stickers from Sweet Kawaii Design. Um, lunch stickers, um, mixers, cleaning bottles. Then I have social and I include travel in here because usually if I'm traveling it's for a social thing or to see friends or family. So I just have you know movies, date nights, party, girls night kind of stuff. Um, and then some travel stickers. Then I have health and fitness and so I have like period trackers, um, my multicolored spin bikes and some multicolored calorie counters. Then I have uh, me time stickers so this is all just sort of stuff that I do for myself. Um, this could actually, uh, no that's the coffee mugs. Um, so coffee, books, crafting, planning, beauty stuff. I love these Planner Kate um, labels. She has a lot of ones like Breathe and Me Time. Um, flags from Planner Gems. Just books and some relax flags from Sweet Quiet Design, bathtubs, TVs. 
Then next I have Bill Dew stickers. I have a lot of Sweet Quiet designs. I wish I used more of them, but they're like all Sweet Quiet designs in there. Next I have all of my miscellaneous little things. And then I have just rainbow colored items. I have a whole binder of like multicolored things. And some of these like the wine time, me time, relax, lazy day could also go in me time, but I just kind of stuck them where I thought they went. Um, but those are just the ones I reach for the most often. And then next I have other months of my VGR subscriptions because I do like to reach for these. Like you can see, I will use a lot of these stickers. And then in the back I have my Island of Misfit Toys. And this is just where I put Misfit stickers that I get. And I have a Ziploc bag of like stuff from a VGR grab bag that was like punched out all the way and wasn't in a sheet. So that's just where I put those so I don't get it mixed up and then like wonder why I have like something miscut or you know get it mixed up with something so those duplicate a lot of things I actually have. So there is my second accordion. Next I'm going to go over my icon binder. So these are icons that I might not use on a weekly or frequent basis but um, some of them like these meal planning icons from Hello Ashley Ann I used to use and don't really use anymore which is why I have so many sheets. Um, but then also some baking and different kinds of food is in here. Next I have fitness and these little mini icons which you'll see several different sheets of are from Willow Fields. Um, some fitness stuff, vitamins, and then these are cleaning um, and like household task stickers and I don't have a ton of stuff in here this is mostly just like so my my accordion file isn't overflowing that was like appointment stuff um, and then bills and finance sort of thing and then like beauty self-care um, I like ordered duplicates from a lot of different shops of the same sticker when I first started planning so I have stuff that I just really don't reach for and then these were errands, so like gas, and then Willow Fields shopping carts. Next I have my holidays and celebrations binder. And I didn't put most of my Christmas stuff back in here. Um, I need to go through it still and decide what I'm keeping and what, you know, if I only have one or two stickers left on something, like it might be time to let it go. Um, but this is just where I keep like birthday stuff. I have a bunch of different birthday stickers in the front. This is from Vintage Gypsy Road. I think she has a smaller sampler now of this that's maybe just cupcakes. I'm not sure, but I think I saw that in her new items. Balloons, birthday flags. These, my, um, one of my really good friends got for me when I got engaged. Um, and then these were just, I threw these in here, but these were just like random. They're kind of like, those ones are sort of like baby themed. Um, but I, these were from a misfit thing and I just kind of tossed them in there. Then I have it by season. So I don't have anything for spring or summer, um, but I do have some leftover fall stickers. I got a lot of stuff from Sweet Quiet Design. It was all super cute, but a lot of it I didn't end up getting to use. Um, and some leftover from Vintage Gypsy Road. Um, this was a leftover glam planner kit. This was from a monthly subscription from VGR that I didn't get to use, but I wanted to keep those together in fall. That way next year I remember to pull these out and use them. I think these were just some leftover Halloween stickers. Um, Vintage Gypsy Road again, and then these are from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I don't remember. And then I have some winter stuff. Um, like kits that I didn't use I left in here are things that um, only had a couple stickers left and then this kit from Planner Kate is super pretty I just ran out of days in December to use it I might use it in February though um, it's not overly Christmassy and there's a lot of pink and then these were sort of just like character animal things I threw some decorative stuff in here that I didn't know where to put but it's mostly animals and characters um, and there were some more of those and planets and Star Wars and then these are cut out from my old Lily planners. I just cut the front pages out and stuck them in here um, so I have them in my binders. Next I have my uh, multicolored sticker sheet. I just in the front here I have uh, Mila Print Shop wine bottles 
And then I have some uh, canceled and rescheduled from Planner-esque. I have some rainbow headers from Planner Kate. And then half boxes. I kind of have most of my Planner Kate stuff. I have the Hello Weekend in here. And then her multicolored double dots and single dots. I still have some empty sheets if I've pulled things out. Um, but these were sequin, multicolored sequin items. There's some um, sequin like washi behind that. Then I have, these were the blogger favorites and vlogger favorites. And then Andrea's favorites. And I have, I think, seven sheets of these. And I just have them all together in one thing. I have her asterisk dots, her multicolored weekend banners, Scribble Prince Co. sampler, a half box checklist, full box checklist, and I have, I think I might have six or seven sheets of those. They're all together in there. And same with these. I have multiples of these, um, but I put all the warm colors together of the heart checklist and then all the cool ones together. These are half box um, checklists. Half boxes, again, I always put, if I have multiple sheets, I try to put them together. This was a sampler from the Planner Junkie um, Waller, Waller Color, wow, Watercolor Dabs, um, fla Flags, Full Box Flags, multi or these were like the cool, I think, or were these the warm, I don't know, half boxes, flags, more half boxes. And then these were heart checklists from Mila Print Shop, and I didn't group these together. Um, she custom made these for me, and I feel really bad. I haven't gotten a chance to use them yet. I really like them. Um, but I got them, like, anticipating that Scribble Prints Co. wouldn't adapt to ready to ship so quickly, and then they did. And so I've had, like, all my monthly colored stuff. But I really, really like these, and I like her stickers, and I want to make sure I get to use them at some point. These are glitter flags from Willow Fields. I have the big ones and the little ones. And then these are just blank labels from Hello Ashley Ann. I had quite a few of those. And then also her multicolored teardrops. I was really into Hello Ashley Ann the first couple months I did planning. And I've sort of moved away from it as I've started using more glossy stickers and fewer matte stickers. Now I'm moving on to shop specific binders. And this is my VGR binder, which is absolutely massive. Um, and I haven't even put... I just got another shipment in the mail last night, um, but I have all of my kits grouped together. Um, so this is wardrobe, I think. I'm, I don't know the names of all of them, but if I know it, I'll say it. This is Snowbird. I think this is Little Bird, Prep School, Koi Pond, and then I had some half boxes from her when she did that big half box release. I got the floral ones. This was earth I think and then this is um cantha um aztec blanket this is flea market finds I've used quite a bit of it but there were two different sets of full boxes there were tons of patterns in there so definitely the kind of kit you can get two spreads out of uh flea market or the other one was, is this flea market no this one was something some or maybe this one was it was a similar name to Flea Market Thrift Shop. Maybe this one's Thrift Shop. And then this was um, a fall one she did. Um, Tree Hugger, I think. I did spreads on those. This is Marie Antoinette, which I still have enough to do another full spread with. Um, this is Pretty Little Lines. This is her Peacock spread, which I think I'm going to do in March. I was going to do it in December, but then I had so many Christmas stickers that it just didn't happen. So I think I'm going to do it in March. This is, I think, Modern Ballet, Squirrel. Um, this is one of her older Kate collections, like English Rose or Rose Garden or something. And then Watermelon stickers. And I did put, um, these are from Caress Press. And I put those in there just so I remembered to use them together when I do a watermelon spread. And then in the back here, after I, those are, I used up those stickers and didn't take them out. I have some decorative items from her. Um, and some more half boxes and gold. These were um, from her miscut thing, which is why they look wonky. I didn't, they didn't ship like that. And then these were Surfside um, flags. And then in the very back here is Birthday Girl, or Birthday Collection. Oh, it was, it's her birthday thing. Then I have my Scribble Prints Co. binder. And in front here I have Pink Geometric. 
and then her feathers cyber monday um a kit this is i think this one is soft spoken i think it's either soft spoken or almond i think it's soft spoken um and neutrality and then donuts and then this is her pink lemonade and I threw in vintage Gypsy Rhodes pink lemonade and citrus stickers just so I re again remember to use those together. This was vintage floral I think. Um, and then mermaid. Uh, this is like her beach one and I don't remember exactly what it's called. And then this was her like winter, I don't, I don't remember, it was like a winter woodland or something red geometric um this is her bring back my box may collection which i love and i keep saying i'm going to use it i thought i was going to use it in october and i didn't i thought i was going to use it in january and i didn't so i'll definitely break this out one of these days um frozen glitter and then her rose gold boxes and then i just had some like leftover that was from uh aztec pink or something or like that and then these were left over and I kept these because they had like all the heart checklists um, from this is like autumn floral or something like that. And then this is by far my smallest binder. It'll only take a second to flip through, but these are all of my other shops kits. So this was from Pretty Sheepy. Um, my friend Caitlin sent this to me. Um, and then this is Glam Planner Cyber Monday. I like Glam Planner, but um I don't know I really like her full boxes but I just feel like I already buy so many other kits from like vintage gypsy road and scribble prints that it has to be really special for me to buy it from her um, I have a planner Kate this is like a just all blue kit and I thought this was super pretty this is the tribal kit from glam planner um, the wedding like white bridal which I actually already decorated a spread in May for my sister-in-law's um, wedding with it when I got it because I wanted to test it out. I just did like the full boxes and because I wanted to see what her quality was like. Um, then I have some stuff from Planner Junkie and these ducks from Carolina's Crafts. Um, this is from Mila Print Shop. Um, some Caress Press stuff in here and I'm excited she's reopening. I think this is from like Danielle One or something created by Danielle One. Yep. I ordered those and then these are from One Orange Snowflake, I believe. I A lot of the stuff is stuff I ordered when I first started planning like that last bit and I don't really use that stuff anymore. It's not how I plan anymore. But there you have it. And then just because I know I'll probably get asked, these are Vintage Gypsy Rhodes older styled washi sheets and I just keep these in a pile on like a shelf in my desk. Um, so I don't have a lot of stuff in my desk, so I just keep those separate since they're too big to fit into, um, an A5, like, sheet protector or into one of the accordion files. Um, I haven't found a better way to do it, but her new, her new washi sheets do fit into A5 sleeves with everything else. And then real quickly, I just wanted to show you how I store my monthly stickers for months it currently isn't, if that makes sense. And I do occasionally pull this down if I want like a vintage Gypsy Road laundry sticker that matches a kit that maybe doesn't have um, like all the monthly colors in it or something. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so I don't have anything for the first few months because I haven't put January in and my February items are sitting out on my cart because I just hauled them. Um, but I have like all my monthly stickers and back this was when I first started like I only have a few things for July. Um, some Carolina's Crafts and there is some Planner Kate in there somewhere in Vintage Gypsy Road. Um, and then Hello Ashley Ann, Carolina's Crafts, Vintage Gypsy Road, Planner Kate. Um, August or the end of July or something was when Scribble Prince Co. reopened but I only got a couple sheets of her August stuff and then September I have the VGR Planner Kate Scribble Prince Co. Um, which is pretty consistently um, what I order from now for monthly stuff. I have again Planner Kate VGR um, Scribble Prince Co. is in there in the back and November and I just put two stacks that way it's not like super lumpy in the middle 
um, and then my December items and I'll probably stick Christmas in here or put it like in the very front. Um, I currently have like a pile of Christmas stuff that I need to find a place for or I might put it back in my holiday binder but there's so much washi and stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my organization video. If you have any questions about where anything is from, make sure to comment down below and ask. Um, I will try to link all the shops I've mentioned in my uh, description bar. Um, and oh, just so you know, um, these accordion files are from Target. I don't think I mentioned that. They're from the dollar spot. And then all of the metallic binders are from Target. And these ones are just Avery and you can get them at Walmart, wherever um, like Avery stuff is sold. They're just Avery A5 binders. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.